Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, thank you so much for all of your support. This is a very special, exclusive video reaction type of thing. Now, when you guys are watching this, it will be uh, about a week from now. Um, I got to go on a very special trip to Disney California Adventure today for a absolutely wonderful experience thanks to several friends of mine uh, many actually invited me I did uh, go on one person's uh, account and it was a special trip for an early access to Avengers Campus at California Adventure in Disneyland here in Anaheim <clears throat> and you're gonna have to excuse me but as you can see my face is fairly red i got sunburned and i'm definitely dehydrated um first of all like i said this video you're gonna uh, i'm recording this right now i just got home uh from the event and um <clears throat> I, I'm under a uh, very strict embargo on talking about this on social media because nobody has been inside this land yet. <coughs> uh, it was absolutely fantastic. Um, if you've been to California Adventure, uh, several years ago, they had an area... Uh, that was kind of between the Guardians of the Galaxy area and um, uh, kind of Cars Land, I guess. Th there's a gap right there, and it was Bug the uh, Bugs Life uh, or Bug Bugs Land or whatever you want to call it, um, a Bugs Life Land. Uh, it was really cool. I, I enjoyed it. It was a little bit more child friendly, though I would say. Um, before they tore it down and closed it, uh, I actually went there and it was the last time that I was ever there, or it was the first time that I actually went on any of the attractions there, rides. Um, they had a Heimlich one that just basically kind of was like a slow, uh, crawl, almost like a train kind of thing that kind of went around and... Because he's a bug and you're in Bugs Land, everything was like giant size. So it it's like they shrunk you down to the size of a bug. So you have big giant leaves, big giant um, uh, straws or, you know, whatever. I mean, like imagine a cup being giant size. It, it was all there. Uh, really very fun, very quaint. And a lot of times... Uh, there, there was also a, a water fountain thing that like shot out from the ground where a lot of kids would go to cool off. It was a good place for parents to kind of take their kids and just kind of chill for a little bit uh, while they're going around doing a lot of other stuff. Um, but they removed that and they built Avengers Campus. Avengers Campus uh, is, it's hard to describe um it's kind of modern looking. Uh, basically, the story is that Howard Stark years ago had an automotive factory or, or, or something like that there. And uh, as time went on, it basically became abandoned until Tony uh, decided to put a campus there to train new recruits for the Avengers. Uh that's, you know, so while you're there and, you know, you're introduced to, and I've done a video on it, which is the spider bot. That is part of the main uh, attraction ride there right now. Now, from what I understand, there's going to be another one built in a couple years that's more Avengers focused, but this one was Spider-Man focused. And this was really, really fun. It uh, so basically what it is, it was set up and it's Worldwide Engineering Brigade, I think, you know, and it stands for web. And it is basically Peter developing technology with other characters and things like that. Like, for example, uh, Harley, who is from Iron Man 3 or 2, 3, maybe it's 3. 
Yeah, it's three. Uh, Harley's actually, he, you don't see him specifically, but he is in uh, kind of some of the artwork around there saying that he had developed some of the technology there. So it's kind of cool that they brought him in in some kind of capacity. The whole land in general, though, kind of takes place outside of the normal continuity of uh, the movies and in, in such. So Tony Stark is still alive. Um, Captain America is still young. Spider-Man is here now with Tom Holland uh, in it. Um, Loki's still alive. And all of it, all of that comes from just seeing these characters still walking around. So while we were there, we saw... Uh, we saw Spider-Man, we saw Captain America, we saw um, Loki, Thor, uh, and Captain Marvel were there. So it kind of takes place in a, in a weird universe where Tony Stark is still alive and Captain America is still young. Uh, and Thor is not uh, bro-Thor. So... This attraction, you get on there and you get when, when you go there, you go through the like the, the line and everything, and it's nice and themed and it, it looks really cool like you're going through an engineering kind of thing. And it's meant to be like an open house showcasing this stuff. When you get inside in the queue area, right before you go on to the ride, um, there's a little bit of a mini show where uh there's like a tv screen and the, it looks amazing like it looks like 3d but you're not wearing any glasses it's like i don't know how they do it but disney's amazing at this stuff but you have uh, peter parker coming out talking about the spider bots and how the spider bots are meant to really kind of help everything and uh kind of like tony stark's iron legion but these Spider bots are meant to kind of like crawl around and do things. The problem though is they get stuck in replication mode where they self replicate <clears throat> and because of it start taking over the worldwide en engineering brigade, which like I said, it, the, that, that web is just, it brings all these different characters like Harley into it to work on engineering stuff. So you go on the ride and it's, if you've ever been on, Toy Story Mania at Disneyland. I think they might have it at Disney World as well, where you go around and you're wearing 3D glasses and you see a screen and you're pulling a trigger and you're shooting different things on a screen based on the gun. It like sh like shoots kind of things. That's kind of what the ride is like. It basically is that, but with an Xbox Connect. So literally you sit in the ride and you're watching it, you're wearing 3D glasses and you... You have to go like this, like Spider-Man doing the thwip thing. And you have to destroy all the spider bots that are going around. There's parts where, like, you have to destroy them. Giant robots come out. Um, there's parts where Peter Parker, uh, Spider-Man, is trapped. So you kind of have to get him out. And you're constantly going like this. And this leads me to, uh, I bought a whole heap of stuff. So... First off, again, and I can finally show this, but first off, you get this really cool uh, reusable bag. So you got the Avengers Campus logo there. You spin it around. You got this, Spider-Man. You got uh, the Worldwide Engineering Brigade, the little spider bot. Science is awesome. So you have all that kind of fun stuff. Um, I'll show that off here in a bit. Uh, now, I did a review, and I'm going to do full reviews of all of this stuff. Uh, but I just, I, I wanted you guys to see this first. So the spider bot is this little guy. I did the review on it and see even still, like you look at the back here and this is designed by Harley Keener, which is that, uh, little, uh, little kid in Iron Man three. It's amazing. Um, now this is a, a separate shell piece that goes over that other spider bot that I got and it's done up to look like Iron Man. You got like a little arc reactor on there and it changes his abilities, which is really very cool. Um, powered by its very own arc reactor, this Spider-Bot armor plating upgrade enhances your Spider-Bot with a repulsor cannon attachment specialized in high powered blasts. 
Um, it also upgrades the previous digital life re um, regeneration. Uh, that's really cool. It puts, uh, instead of the little Spider-Man logo, it puts a little Iron Man logo there. So this is one thing that I had to get. I absolutely love the way that it looks. Um, I knew I was gonna have to get it when I saw some of the promotional images. Uh, I just think that that guy is ridiculously awesome. Um, what else? Did I have anything else in the bag? Uh, other things that I bought now, this is also, there's a lot of Pimtech stuff there. So one of the restaurants there, um, it's like the Pim Test Kitchen and stuff where they literally make bigger food. And there, there's one like a giant pretzel and stuff. Uh, there was a couple. Uh, now, in Del Disney California Adventure, alcohol is allowed. Uh, some of you may not know that Disneyland doesn't have alcohol uh, for regular guests to buy for the most part. There's a couple locations that you can go to. But it, it it's always been historical that alcohol wasn't served there in the park but dca always was and i picked up these little guys which is really super super adorable so like this you have a uh, pin particle thing right there this is palladium um you know it's, it's done up like these are little beakers and stuff which is really cool uru which is the metal that uh, thor's hammer is made out of and then the last one here is vibranium they're little shot glasses uh, but I thought they were really cool looking. Uh, I, there, there were some things that I wanted to get there that they didn't have available yet. Uh, like, for example, they have little replicas of sorts of Ant-Man's discs that make people get larger or smaller. They light up, and you're supposed to put them in drinks and stuff. But they didn't have any of those for sale, so I couldn't buy those. Um, also, the little capsules that he used kind of in the first one. So, like, or, so like when they were going to try... Or in Endgame, when they were trying to get the little capsules of the pin particles, like they came little light up ones like that. So that's one thing. Um, I also got this really cool hat, which I, you know, I I like wearing hats. So you got the Avenger logo, and then on the back here, it says uh, Avengers Campus, which I thought that was cool. Of course, I had to get me a hat while I was there. Um, I got a soda. And then there was other things, like they had an Infinity Gauntlet, Iron Man's Infinity Gauntlet, that could hold a water, or like soda. They didn't have that either, which kind of sucked. A um, couple other things. So, as you, when you go on the ride, the ride, like I said, you can go around and you can do the uh, flipping, uh, I guess I, I guess you could call it. Um, the tip, 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 tip. And oh, what did I do with the? Oh, here it is. Uh, so you could do all that kind of stuff, and it works without any special bonus things. But they also do include some bonus things. So for example, you can buy uh, and and I, I what is, I don't remember the price on this, uh, but you can buy this. Turn on for turn on for different projectors. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, I'm just kind of looking at this now just to kind of see what, what basically it is. Um, but this is a web power band. Now, when you're going through the ride and you're going like this, it shoots out just regular webs. But you can buy additional accessories. So you don't need to do this. The, the, the ride still works perfectly fine without it. But if you want to bo boost your score you can buy these web power bands. And um, this ambidextrous inversible web uh, pipe place, uh, pair it with any tech to try unlock additional powers. When equipped on the web slinger vehicle, activate. Okay, so um, basically this is exclusive to, uh, and you can see made for uh, Avengers Campus um, recruits. But what you do is you'll put that on and let me, uh, I bought an extra attachment for it. So you get this piece um, when you buy this. And I'm gonna try. Now, like I said, um, you don't need to do this. You, you put your hand in it this way. I think it goes this way. Yeah, it goes this way. And then you lower this. And this uh, will clamp onto your wrist. 
Maybe, maybe I did that the wrong way. It, maybe it goes the other way. I, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I know it goes the other way if you're using the other piece, and I'll do that here in a minute. So, no, yeah, it, it, it looks like it goes this way. Okay, so it clamps onto your hand. Okay, let's turn it to the play mode. So, that's cool. Um, then, you get this little piece, and this plugs in there changes the color and now I don't know what that actually does oh it's a little projector I don't know if you can see that let me uh um I don't really think it's doing much of anything so oh it's a little projector light up effect compatible with okay yeah so basically right now this is all that it does and the projector um I'm gonna try showing this to you guys on here. So there you go. You can kind of see the uh, little Spider-Man logo on there. So that's kind of cool that you can do this and you can go around and kind of kind of looks just like a uh, a web shooter of sorts. So this is just the regular play mode for it. Then you have another button right on the side that. You'll switch it to this. And now this is searching for the signal in the ride. So if you have this and you're going around and you're doing this, if you're wearing this while you're in the ride, it actually recognizes that and gives you, <coughs> I think it's a bonus weapon, which I think it gives you extra, um, uh, like instead of one strand of uh, web coming out it's two i think now there's other ones that are there and this is the one that i bought uh, i also bought kelly uh there there was a um there was the, the you know so this comes in a pack and then you can buy another one which is uh iron man related you also have one that is uh rescue related so um uh Gwyneth Paltrow's character. So for this one, you're going to rotate this around because this is on the bottom now. Put this there. And you got the little attachment point. This is the Iron Man one. The rescue one is identical to this, but it's blue like rescue was in the, um, in the movie. You got little bands right here, so you're gonna put that on there. It just helps stabilize it. This is going to slide on, and that you could hear the connection. And now, that's a little bit too tight on my wrist. Then you just position this around your hand, and now you have it. it I wish this was a little tighter to pull back. I could probably replace this strap, but um, but you can kind of see when I pull it back, it kind of pulls on it, but inside the ride so again it recognizes when this searches for the signal recognizes what you have and what it then does is it gives you the repulsor blast so instead of the thwip the the um the web you're going like this with the repulsor blast so literally pew 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 the whole time and it's freaking awesome the fact that you can change it is absolutely incredible now uh, again you have to switch this to the the ride uh thing so flip the switch now it's just in regular play mode so you can see that's going like that and now so now and i go and that's activated by actually moving this around so that doesn't do anything really. It's just, it's when you move this. So if I can do it. Now it comes with uh, other play things. So I don't know exactly what this does. Training sphere, levitating. So I, I don't know. And this is also invented by uh, Harley as well. So uh, it makes sense because he's the one that uh, got all that extra stuff 
from Tony Stark to uh, create the potato gun. So I'm trying to see here the way, I don't know. It, the way the lady said it, it made it sound attachment does not function until connected to web power band. Three repulsor modes. Oh, oh my God. I didn't even know that. You push the button. So, so this is just the regular blast mode. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta try this. Holy, oh, they're little, the little foam balls to help you uh, kind of practice your skills. Okay, so that's the, and now you push this button and it actually turns it into a fan. So you put that there. This is a little foam ball. I'm gonna try doing this. Hold on. So. Oh. That's. That's not doing anything. feel like that's not so let me try this again so hold on how freaking awesome is that oh my god and then I don't know what the deal is with this other one I thought It's blowing the air on that. So I don't know exactly how that's. That's super awesome. I did not know that it did that, but so it gives you play features without actually and I keep shooting my face. So like the triggers in here or something, but it gives you a play feature without actually having to uh, have it connected. And I'm gonna turn this off right now because it's getting a little bit annoying. Um, without actually having to be in the ride. So it's not useless at that point in time, but that is super awesome. Uh, absolutely love that. Uh, like I said, Kelly got rescue. Um, and you can probably wear this on either hand. Uh, and honestly, I was tempted to buy a second one to have two blasters. But when you do have this, you don't necessarily have to have two. It will recognize both. So if you're going like this as you're blasting, if you go like this with your other hand, instead of shooting the the whip, or yeah, you know what I'm saying, instead of doing that, it will both be blasters. So as long as you have one on your hand, but I just feel like having two would be more fun. I feel like this is gonna be my favorite ride ever. And it's it's fairly short, honestly. But super fun nonetheless. That is cool. I had no idea that I could really do that. That's that's awesome. Um couple other things that I bought. These I saw. These are Spider-Man goggles. And the, <clears throat> the cool thing about these, it's got this big giant battery pack on the back. You turn it on, and then there's a button right here that activates it. And you can see that they light up, although, oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, okay, yeah. So, they light up. That is cool. So, when you have them on, like, this is it just on right now. And you can actually see through it if you look through there's lines, so you can see through it fairly well. I'm gonna put this on so you can see it. So now I'm kind of like Spider-Man, right? They are kind of big, but I think that they're cool nonetheless. You push that button again, and what it'll then do is we'll cycle through, I think like 17 or something different expressions. So 
squinting, opening wide, winking. Let's see what else? Squinting again. So uh, closing their eyes. Now I can kind of see it through um, a little bit through what I'm looking at. I can kind of see the lights. All the little spiral thingies. Those are really cool. Um, it'll go through all of these as just like a sequence, you know, just different expressions, basically. If you push the button again, you can then go through the different, uh, like, so like this one is just going to do the same ones. Hit it again, and now I'm blinking. I'll, I'll be blinking. It's That's the particular thing. So it locks it on a different expression. So there's squinting eyes, blinking, hitting it again, faster blinking, there's the spiral thing. This would this will be really good for like the fireworks if you went there for Disneyland. Um, this one kind of like a raised eyebrow sort of thing. Really cool. I love how these turned out. They are like I said, pretty big. I mean, you can see just how big they are. They are like full on goggles for the most part. But those lights, it's not going to do it any justice here because they're they're really bright. Um, oh, I got a computer. Turn off studio lights. Okay. Oh, well, other lights are on, but you can kind of see how bright those are. Computer, turn on studio lights. <coughs> Computer, turn on studio lights. So you're just going to go okay. through all of these, you know, and then you got the on and off switch. Computer, that. quiet down. Cancel. There. Turning the, the switch off. I mean, you do have this really big-ass battery pack on the back of it, um, which, you know, is kind of annoying, but at least it has a cool logo there. So, love these. Uh, when I saw these, I knew I had to get those as well. Uh, and then finally, uh, what I think is the best thing that I bought there. You guys know that I love prop replicas, and this was one that I had... To pick up this is doesn't even say worldwide brigade this is spider-man's web shooters uh, a set of two with lights sounds and a display base so uh, 70 dollars on this a little bit more pricey but again kind of like a prop replica it says we at web uh worldwide engineer we proudly or we partner closely with spider-man to engineer some great new tech upgrades including the sleek metallic web shooters um doesn't say who just dis designed it but you guys know i love marvel i love my uh, prop replicas and this was one that i absolutely had to have when i saw it so oh shoot you know what those other things oh there's a couple other things that i got there i'm gonna have to text kelly because um she and i went together um, my friends were able to get us both in with their tickets and there's a couple other things that, uh, I bought that are in her bag. So these lock down into place and you have a display base. You've got that little logo right there. You have a nice display base and then you get these guys. Super awesome. I mean, these. this is metal. It's cold, so I'm doing the, the touch. So the outer section here is made out of metal. These are heavy as well. These feel really very nice. But they're web shooters. And you can see there's a foam padding on the inside. You push this little button here, releases that section. You got a bit of a spring. And then you literally collapse your hand around it and locks it into place. Then this is on a bendy wire that you can flex down to be closer to your palm and then you push it and you got a laser or light. I mean, button's not as responsive as I would like, but that's cool and you do get two of them for your spider oh i should take my watch off 
for my Spider-Man cosplay. Which I, I don't I don't cosplay, but there we go. So now it's hard to kind of there we go. Try to get these uh, properly centered on me. Oh, you hold it down. That's really cool. I love that. That's so much fun. Um, and then you have the uh, the clasp or these uh, or the, the little display thing. Oh yeah, that just sits right down there. That's that's really nice. That's really sharp. I'm really glad that I got these. Um, but like I said, the inside has foam that literally you just kind of slide this down and kind of position that and gorgeous display piece. Gorgeous. I, I love the fact, like I said, that this is metal. I didn't notice that that was metal really at first. I noticed that they were heavy, um, but not so much that they were metal. Uh, so that's really cool to see. I kind of wish they weren't touching because um, I don't want them to rub or anything. And because they are so heavy, they do have a tendency to kind of slide down. So let me kind of position that a little bit better. But I absolutely love these. Super fun, super exciting. Um, in general, I was really super uh, impressed with the land. Uh, it was very hot there. There's not a lot of uh, shade or anything. Um, really, in general, it seemed like a very fun, cool place. I don't, I, I don't think that it's going to be a uh, a land that's going to get a lot of people spending a lot of time in. It is smaller, and um, there we go. It's a smaller land because remember, it just took over that area of Bugs Land. So it's a small area. They did kind of incorporate. Um, the Guardians of the Galaxy ride into the area. So that's all part of Marvel Land, I guess you could say. But it is very fun. Um, the there, There's a whole uh, new sanctum that is apparently discovered there. It's like a lost one. And there's a door that clearly is where Doctor Strange is going to come out of for shows and things like that. They didn't have that there. There's also a uh, uh, acrobatic Spider-Man animatronic that's supposed to swing from one area, flip, do acrobatics. It's all a robot, but it moves fluidly and looks like an actual person. They didn't have that going either. They may be waiting for the full opening of the land and not just guests um, or like um, um, employees going in there and watching. They may they may wait until all just paying guests are there for it. Uh, either way, I was really impressed with it. Uh, I kind of wish that I could have been there at nighttime because I think that the lights there are going to be phenomenal. Uh, at some point in time, I'm going to go back and I want to check it out. And we weren't allowed to take pictures. Uh, as I said, I wasn't even allowed to talk about any of this stuff, uh, my experience uh, until, uh, and I forgot what date it is. I'm going to have to double check, um, but it's like a week. Like when you guys are watching this, it's a week in the future for this Paul. So, um, really very, very fun. As a huge Marvel fan, it was absolutely terrific. Uh, like I said, there is, uh, somebody, somebody I heard somewhere that there's going to be another attraction. And I think that's where, like, there's a whole Avengers headquarters there with a Quinjet 
parked on the top of it. I think that might be the building for the new uh, the new uh, ride that's going to be there. Um, I'm not sure or anything. That's all speculation on my part. But in general, I was really very impressed with what I saw. Now, comparing it, if I were to compare it to other lands in Disney, uh, in, in terms of um, like, I mean, obviously there's like Fantasyland, Adventureland, there's Galaxy's Edge, which I'm a big fan of. It's not as impressive as Galaxy's Edge. I am a much bigger Marvel fan than a Star Wars fan. I tell people this all the time. I like Star Trek more than I like Star Wars, but I still like Star Wars. It's it's still a fun uh, franchise for me, uh, but I like Marvel more than all of them. This land, it you know, it, it a lot of the stuff was fun and exciting for me to see because it's like a land that is perfect for me. I still think that Galaxy's Edge visually looks better. Uh, you go into that land and you feel like you are on another planet. I mean, that's how good of a job Disney did with Galaxy's Edge. The the way that um, Avengers Campus looks is really very impressive, but it's definitely small. Uh, right now, like I said, they just have the one attraction. It does feel a little bit short, as I talked about. I love the fact that you can do other things to make the ride even more enjoyable by having extra weapons and things like that. Um, but, be, you know, and they, they, they only had like one actual indoor shop. They had another one that was like an outdoor location where you could buy stuff. Uh, but it, it, it's not a very big thing, which is fine because I, I mean, I know that a lot of friends of mine complain that, especially in Galaxy's Edge, that it just seems like one big shop there. They have two rides there, but the rest of it just seems like a shop. This at least feels, I feel like there's going to be more character entertainment stuff there than really anything else. The, the rides are going to be there. You're going to have two rides there, um, one for sure. Um, you have a medium-sized store and then a small outdoor pod thing, a couple restaurant things, which uh, I did try the shawarma. They have a shawarma place in there. It was really good, very garlicky, but I, I still liked it. Um, there was a couple other things. like I wanted to try some of the alcoholic drinks, but I just didn't get around to it. Uh, but I feel like there's going to be a lot of entertainment stuff like i said while we were there we saw captain america captain marvel thor loki spider-man and i think that's it but i you know and obviously dr strange is going to be there i was bummed out that i didn't see iron man uh that kind of sucks um because i was under the impression that iron man was going to be around there so who knows again maybe they're saving that for later on um, but in general, it was a terrific experience. It was worth going to. I think a lot of people are really going to enjoy it. I still think ultimately Galaxy's Edge wins as a immersive sort of situation. But as a Marvel fan, I thought it was phenomenal. I, I really, really did. And all the all the uh, the merchandise is super fun, super super fun. So. If you guys get a chance to go to Disneyland here in Anaheim, California, it is not going to be at Disney World. Uh, there's some kind of weird rules where um, certain characters and certain things cannot exist in Disney World, but they can exist at Disneyland. It's a weird licensing thing. Uh, but uh, so we're 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 going to have that here now. There, there. I want to say that they're going to have an. They have Avengers stuff over there at Disney World. It's just different. Uh, oh, and the Guardians of the Galaxy. We will be able to have the Guardians of the Galaxy here at Disneyland. But super, super fun to go to. I would recommend it. Uh, obviously, if you're going through, obviously, if you're going through and um, you're going to be at the park anyhow, you're going to want to check it out. But it's it's fun. It, it really is. So thanks, guys, for listening to me ramble. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. 
Uh, I enjoyed talking about it. I, it was a tremendous once in a lifetime opportunity. Uh, <clears throat> and I've been lucky with this because I have friends that work there. So I got to go to an early opening of uh, Galaxy's Edge a few years ago. Got to go to this one. So very well, I didn't expect that to happen. I guess I uh, overheated my phone talking this long. But um, so again, I, I, I absolutely loved it. Hope you guys can check it out. Super fun. Uh, I know I showed you guys a lot of the products in this video. I'm going to be doing full reviews on all of these because I think they're that damn cool. So as always, guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all of your support. And until next time, remember... That the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.